Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So today I have another guide for another legendary bounty on 5 star difficulty. This one is Edda Doyle. And this is kind of strange because today's a Monday and these usually come out every Tuesday. But Rockstar released one today, probably because of the PC release tomorrow. So I'm going to show you guys how to capture her on 5 star difficulty. And there's actually a pretty easy trick to get her on 5 star difficulty. So now let's read her poster. It says here... Wanted, a sizable reward is being offered for the capture of Madame La per Pearl, a.k.a. Edda Doyle, and her gang, wanted alive for train and coach robbery. Is the leader of a gang of women known for terrorizing trains and coaches. She is 40 years of age and dresses in men's clothing, seen in the proximity of saint -Denis, identified by a scar on her right cheek obtained during a knife fight, considered extremely dangerous. Okay, let's watch her intro cutscene. Alright, Edda Doyle. Used to be known as Madame Le Pearl. She runs a gang of other fallen women, sticking up trains and coaches mostly, but seems to have a particular fancy for robbing Leviticus Cornwall of late. So his men have set a honeypot to lure her in. Tipped her off about a big stash of money and ammunition at Cornwall's freight yard in Saint Denis. Asked if I can send some good bounty hunters their way. Just be careful. They play smart. Uh, looks like she only sent one. Okay, we gotta move fast here. Come on. Now the bait's already been set. Edda Doyle and her girls could be here any minute. Mr. Cornwall, you don't want his name anywhere near this for reasons I'm sure you can understand. Just wants it dealt with quick and quiet. You're gonna want to ensconce yourself in here. Now wait till they bust in, and then, when the moment's right, ambush Miss Doyle and escort her into custody. They want her alive. You get paid, we get rid of her, everyone's happy. Now don't worry about her cronies. She's the one with the price on her head. They're notorious for dressing alike. So you bide your time, you figure out which one's Doyle. You'll know for sure when you see her face. Got a big old scar down her right cheek. And we're just gonna hang around and stand guard, create some semblance of security, and just pray the crazy bitch don't bust in and shoot us straight in the face. All right, now, it's time. Find a place to hide, and we'll wait for the guest of honor. Okay, now you guys are not going to believe how easy this legendary bounty is on 5-star difficulty. What I personally recommend doing is going to the right side right here behind this wall. Now wait until she shows up with her gang. It usually takes her like 1 or 2 minutes and they will knock out those two guards that are standing right there. And her top leaders in the gang, they wear pretty similar clothing, so it's hard to identify her. And, you know, the game tells you that she has a scar on her front cheek, but even though she does have that, you're not going to really identify her by that because you're not going to be able to get that close. Instead, what you want to do is do this right here. Hide right here, and when the two guards get knocked out, they're going to go in random directions. Sometimes they all go in one direction, other times they'll just split up, go all over the place, it's completely random where they're going to go. Hide right here, and if they get too close to here, I like to go right behind this cart, and I got kind of lucky here because she got really close to this cart here, one of the gang, le gang leaders, and if they get too close right here, just fall back a little bit more and hide behind a train car. Now... On this mission, it tells you observe Edda Doyle's gang. You do not really have to observe her gang. You don't even have to look at her gang. You just have to be in the area, and eventually, you take a look at this right here. The map icons start disappearing. So after a few minutes, the map icons are going to dis disappear, and there's only going to be one red skull there left, and that is going to be her. You want to go after her at that point. But there's a big trick to this mission to make this mission ten times easier. Really easy trick. What you got to wait for is you got to wait until she says that it's a setup. She will say that it's a setup and we gotta get out of here. She'll realize that it's a trap and she'll tell her gang to start running. Wait until that moment. Don't go for her when she's the last skull left. Wait until she says that. Right after she's the last marker, she'll say it's a trap and then she'll start running. When she starts running, make sure you see all the other gang members start running. Tackle her and tie her up. And at this point, all the other gang members will just completely ignore you. They will be completely oblivious to you. Look at this. They're all running past me right now. I have her tied up there completely ignoring me. They are so bent on getting out of here that they don't even realize that their boss is tied up. So they're just all running away. Literally, look at this. All of them just running away. And they actually get into carriages and they will just drive away right there. And that is pretty much it. That is how easy it is. If you tackle her before she says that, it, says that it's a setup, all of these guys will go after you and they will be shooting you. So just wait until she says that it's a setup, we gotta get out of here, 
And then when that happens, tackle her, tie her up, and then leave. Now, you can leave through the front door, but I don't recommend doing that because her gang will still be in the carriages. And if you if they see you coming out that way, some of them will shoot at you. They'll stay in the carriages. They won't get out, but there's still a fret right there. Instead, take her out through this warehouse. It's on the left side of the door. Take her out through this warehouse. Call in your horse. Whistle your horse to get as far away from those carriages. You see those carriages there in the background. And just put her on the back of your horse. And it's like two blocks of the police station. That's how easy this is. This, this is probably the easiest legend, five-star legendary bounty that I've ever done. I cannot believe it was this easy. I don't know if it's a glitch or whatever, but I just found that if you tie her up after she says we're leaving, they won't go after you for some reason. So I just did that. So just wait until she says we're leaving, tie her up, take her to the police station, drop her in right there, and that's pretty much it for this legendary bounty. Easiest legendary bounty. <laughs> I, I still can't believe I did it this way, but I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, enjoy my content, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everyone.